Hello lovely people, my name is Lauren Daddy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. A couple of weeks ago, I came your way with customer responsiveness part one. I touched briefly on the need for us to reach out to our customers and communicate effectively with them at all times. We looked at the purpose of communication. That is the reason why our customers would even reach out to us. Our response to the communication and the reasons why we sometimes fail to be responsive. I also emphasize on the fact that there's no reason why we shouldn't reach out to our customers uh, when they try uh, getting to us and that we have no excuse whatsoever for withholding information from our customers. Now I looked at proactive communication as in getting to the customer before they try getting to us and also how we can say no and say no nicely and that the fact that you are responding to the customer doesn't necessarily mean that you're saying yes to their request and that you can say no and say it creatively. Now if you missed part one, please and please again kindly go back and watch it, it will really help you. Now today we want to delve deep into this topic. I want to throw more light on responsiveness in business, the benefits that come with it, and the reason why we shouldn't take this for granted. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. responsiveness. Customer responsiveness is simply your ability or the ability of your business to respond to service inquiries and fulfill them in a timely manner. So this actually includes the time that um, or the speed that it takes you to respond to the interaction or even initiate the interaction as well as the time that it takes to complete the processing of the request. So in plain words, if someone reaches out to you for customer support, how long do you take, does it take you to respond? Now, do you even respond? And when you respond, how long does it take you to process the request? These are questions that we need to answer. Now, here are benefits that come with customer responsiveness. I have 10 benefits. We are going to discuss them one after the other. And I believe that after this, you would amend the way you relate with your customers. Here we go. Number one, it helps businesses understand their customer needs. So being responsive to your customer helps you to actually meet them at the point of their needs because you're actually um, always interacting with them. So you know what they actually want, you know um, how they also want it, and you know where they're having challenges so that you can help them and make their life easy. Number two, create competitive advantage. We are in a competitive world, trust me. And your competitors are always ready to grab your customers if you're not available or if you're not paying attention to their, their, their needs. So in an era of technology and instant messaging, your customer will always switch if, if you're not available for them. And this is the reason why for, for companies that, that serve customers in different time zones, it's advisable for you to have a 24-7 customer response team because you, the delay caused by the time difference is something that will really cost you a lot and that's something that you can't afford. Number three, it gives your customers a sense that they are important to you. So every customer feels very important. Every customer wants to feel important. So when you're responsive, they feel you care about them. They feel that you, you really um, appreciate them as customers and that makes them very happy. Number four, it gives the impression that you're well organized. For well-organized establishments, we have um, certain systems and structures in place that govern the way they communicate with their customers. And I'll give you a basic example. In some places, the phone shouldn't ring more than two times before you pick up. So if a phone is ringing and you're not picking up, it means you're not doing the right thing. So that is your standard. And that's, that's an example. But in certain organizations as well, they have metrics in place that puts frontline staff in check as to how they even interact with customers. We have metrics like first call resolution, customer response rate, customer effort score, customer satisfaction score. All those metrics are used to measure the frontline staff and ensure that they are communicating with their customers very, very well. And this really helps a lot. But the thing is, you don't need to have these metrics in place. You don't need to. You might be a small company, you might be an entrepreneur, you might be an up and coming business. But so long as you have 
that that culture of responsiveness, your customers see you as very, very organized. Number five. It suggests to the customer that you are a doer and not indecisive. If you have the habit of delaying your customers' responses or not getting back to your customers on time, the perception is that you, you, you don't even know what you're up to, that you don't have a response for them or you're not thinking of what to tell them or you're not, you don't have, you're not up to your game. So, but on the other hand, if you're very responsive, the customer thinks that, oh, you know what you're doing and you know really what you're up to and it gives a very good impression about your business. Number six, it helps build a great rapport with your customers. Now, the more you respond to your customers or the more responsive you are to your customers, the more you get to know them better, the more you bond with them, the more um, customer relations intensify. Now, um, this makes you actually have a very good rapport with your customers because you're always getting back to them and they're getting to know you better. And that is a good thing for also for your business. Number seven, promotes customer loyalty. Now, building customer loyalty has become very, very difficult in our time because the customer has a lot of options. So, customer responsiveness will make your customers believe in you and stay with you because they know you're always there for them, so they wouldn't look elsewhere. But on the other hand, if you're not responsive, they might turn up looking elsewhere, but your responsiveness will make them very loyal to you and you can keep them forever because they know that they can always count on you. Number eight, promotes your business. Customer responsiveness can promote, help you promote your business because when customers are happy, they speak well of you. I mean, one good word from a customer can turn your business around. And we all know that um, word of mouth advertising is better than any other advertising you can have. So when you, have, you are very responsive, the customer is always happy, they speak well of you and they bring you more business. Number nine, helps integrate customer requirements with new products and services. Your responsiveness will make you get to know your customers and their needs and their requirements and also get to understand their challenges. And your, the feedback that they give you will help you put corrective actions in place that will help you improve your, your products and services and also to improve your brand. And lastly, number 10, maintain existing customers and reduce churn rate. Now we all know how difficult it is to acquire new customers. So, and it's easier actually to, 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 to maintain your existing customers. So responsiveness is one of the ways that we can keep our customers that we struggle to acquire so that we don't lose them. Now when you're responsive, the customer uh, feels you respect them. They feel that you value them. So they'll stay around you for a long time. So responsiveness has a way of making you uh, maintain your existing customers so that you don't lose them in the end. I'm sure you all agree with me that customers of today have a lot of options and are willing to go with a company or the service provider that is attentive to their needs. No one likes to be ignored and so your customers are not happy when you do that. They get the impression that you, you can't be bothered about them and that's not a good impression at all. But hey, there's good news. You can always change that perception. Better late than never. Don't lose customers because of lack of responsiveness. Thank you so much for joining me today. Stay tuned for other episodes coming up. Bye for now. Cheers.